To create a new shortlist, select New Shortlist from the Offers drop-down menu. This will bring up the Dwelling screen within the Offer Shortlist section. Start by entering the suburb and clicking on the Find Suburb to confirm. Then select the housing type from the drop-down list. Select Description Address from the drop-down list. The dwelling type and number of bedrooms are automatically pre-populated by selecting the address. Select the tenant allocation type you wish to allocate for this tenancy. Additional property information can be entered to limit the registrations returned, or leave blank to open up all potential registrants. Once you have filled in all information required, click on the Save and Continue button. You can enter details about the registrant to narrow the search results. For example, by selecting Younger Than from the Age drop-down list and entering in the age 22, the system will only return registrants in this age range. Continue to fill in as required, noting that every registrant criteria entered will further limit the number of matches returned. Once you have entered all the details required, click on the Save and Continue button. Based on the information you entered in the Dwelling and Registrant Criteria screens, a list of all registrants with matching criteria will be displayed in the Select Registrant screen. This screen provides the following information. The registrant's name and registration ID, their age, gender, number of household occupants, date registration was received, and any language requirements identified. The Canadian Occupancy Standard, which stipulates the number of bedrooms required based on household composition and ages of the children. The symbols represent requirements specifically requested by the registrant. Hovering your mouse over a symbol will provide a brief description of the icon. Click on a registrant's name to produce a summary report to view. A pop-up box will appear. Click Open to view the report. You can also note the registration ID and view the full registration details under the Registration tab. Where your organisation is not the PCO for the registrant, you can contact the PCO to request a copy of the HNA. To shortlist a registrant, click on the tick clipboard icon. A message box will appear. Click OK to add them to the shortlisted tab. To add a registrant to the unsuitable tab, click the X clipboard icon and click OK. You can add a registrant directly without having to search by clicking on the Add Registrant tab, entering the registration ID, and clicking the Find button. Once the registrant's details appear, you can add them to the shortlist. Once you are ready to make an offer, click on the Make Offer link. Select the registrant you wish to make the offer to and enter the expiry date of the offer. This offer will not be a limited tenure, so select No, then click on the Generate Offer button. A confirmation pop-up box will appear. Click OK to confirm the offer. At any time during the Manage Offer process, the user can withdraw an offer by clicking on the Withdraw button. As the offer process can take several weeks to complete, the user can go in and out of the system to update as required. Once a registrant has confirmed the offer made, select either Accept or Reject. Clicking the Accept button will open the Accept Offer screen. 
This is a prompt to ensure the rent options have been discussed with a registrant. Once options have been discussed, select Yes from the drop-down list and click on the Accept button. Click on the Housed button. A confirmation message will appear. Click OK to continue. Click on the Confirm Housed Registrant button. This will take you to the Offer Shortlist Summary screen, which provides a summary of the offer details. The offer status now shows as Housed. In the Registration Summary screen, the registrant status has now changed from Lodged to Housed. To make an offer that is limited tenure, follow the same process as previously discussed, but in the Make Offer screen, select Yes for limited tenure and enter a tenure expiry date. After you have generated the offer, the registrant will still be available for any new shortlists created. If you don't wish for them to show in other shortlists, you will need to also defer the registration. To do this, first make sure you have completed the offer process, then go back into the registration and click on Deferral. Enter in the expiry date and the reason for deferring the registration. In this instance, we are deferring the registration while waiting for the registrant to accept the offer. If the offer was already accepted and housed, you would then generally set the deferral expiry to correspond to the tenure expiry date. Once you have entered a deferral reason, click the Confirm Deferral button. The registration status is now changed to Deferred. You can cancel a shortlist at any time by clicking on the Cancel Shortlist button. A confirmation box will appear. Click OK to confirm.